Hello, folks. Uh, I figured uh, I'd take a break from the, some of the standard LPs and stuff, and uh, I figured I'd show you guys some, another game that I've tried uh, a while back, and I figured I'd kind of get back into. Uh, this is called uh, Universal Century Gundam Online. Uh, this was an old uh, Japanese MMO that was uh, taken out. Uh, either just the developers gave up on it or didn't go too well or something on it. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and start from scratch. And uh, yeah. I'll have a Xeon character and uh, as I'm playing it, I'll try to just do some off and on updates like I do with the Mabinagi stuff. Uh, Mabinagi's been having a lot of issues as of late. I've been hearing reports of it being laggy and bad customer service and all that stuff. So like I've uninstalled it and kind of decided to go ahead and make a character. Anyway, uh, pretty much you pick your side and you adjust your parameters. Uh, strength, spirit, and luck. Uh, strength affects your damage and your uh, melee stats, uh, like you know, hitting with a beam saber or heat axe. Uh, your spirit determines your accuracy, how accurate you shoot, shoot your gun, and all that stuff. And luck is just well, luck. You know, you can score a critical or get get skill up bonuses and stuff like that. So I'll just go ahead and fine tune ourselves here. There's no, there's no nice way to do it, and these numbers will gradually go up depending on how you play. You can actually lose stats too if you wanted to uh, to customize your character. So everything here is fully customizable, which is kind of a neat little thing for uh, for an MMO, I suppose. But there's the stats that I chose. And you can choose your starting spot. Uh, you notice this game takes place in Australia, uh, Melbourne, Adele, uh, Brisbane, and Darwin. Uh, this kind of takes place around the uh, 0080 or in 0083 time periods. Pretty much a universal century, you know. Uh, This kind of this and that. Uh, anyway, we'll go ahead and start up Melbourne. Uh, and pretty much, uh, there's there's sort of a lack of English Xeon players in the server. This is a private server. This is an actual, like I said, this is an actual company. Uh, and here's the gimmick, the loading screen for it. But the site is uh, UCGO uh, online or something like that. You can just Google search it. Uh, it's the one that's not the ti not the Titan server. Server. Anyway, uh, now we're in the game itself, and there's going to be some massive lag because uh, it's loading everything up at once. There's a, there's a lot of frames per second, which is not very comfy for my computer. And you notice that everything is in moon speak, but they do have translations and guides and stuff for in case you're interested. So I'll be customizing that later on. Uh, and it says the server will shut down and and save data in 10 minutes. Wow, that's really lucky. <laughs> Also, it spams information. Uh, when I last played it, there wasn't the uh, actual PvP where you can take over towns and stuff. And now it looks like they've implemented some of it, and that's what that was about. Uh, just gonna sh show off like community. You can have like your friends list, teams, uh, client like clans and stuff. And let's go ahead and just walk around Melbourne since we got 10 minutes to just waste. Then I can go around talking to, talking about the game some. 
Uh, I'm not going to pr say that I'm a pro at this game or all that. Uh, actually, I didn't even get hardly got far into the game when I first played it to begin with. Uh, this is a uh, pretty much a Korean grind style type game. In other words, the game expects you to play for hours on end. It's a life sucker. Uh, but it is kind of neat. You can build your own uh, mobile suits as, once you get your crafting skills up. Uh, you can fly various ships. I don't think they have capital ships uh, made yet, made available yet. Uh, and carriers, I don't think they have up yet. Uh, fighter planes, they have some in the game. Uh, but it's still in, it's still in developing phase, and they're still tweaking it and all that. Uh, but as you can see here, we're actually now inside the city of Melbourne, and as you can see, the graphics are quite heavy. <laughs> uh, most of my videos will not have me involved around cities because my computer just absolutely hates cities. Uh, like I said, look at all this; it's loading at once. Uh, so, you can imagine the uh, lag that's going, going to happen if you have a whole bunch of Zakus and all that flying around. But it just show, goes to show the level of details and all that fun stuff. There's also a toy store uh, for those who like miniatures for whatever reason. And there's also a... I think there's also a clothing shop. Uh, there's this game has a lot of crafting involved with it, mining involved with it. Uh, so you don't have to be you don't have to be an ace fighter pilot or an ace uh, mobile suit pilot. You can actually craft and build stuff, and the game does actually have a thriving economy. Uh, in fact, many people do create alt characters or uh, crafting characters just to uh, sell stuff on the market. Uh, but it looks like there's nobody, no actual people here. This looks like all NPCs because uh, of the server going down. So I can't show off really any mobile suits yet. And uh, I probably will later date once I've got some stats going on and I can show you guys some actual combat. Uh, like I said, the graphics aren't too bad. Uh, this is this is a dated game, but it, like for me, I play more for gameplay and less for graphics. So that's for you if you're a Gundam fan and just looking for something to play with. I definitely recommend this. Uh, most of the players who play English uh, are on. The Federation side, but there are, is a few uh, Zeon clans and teams and stuff. Uh, the server has uh, Japanese players, it has uh, English players, I think it's got a few Korean players, and I think, it, I, think I saw at one point in time when I last played it, I thought I saw a few Hispanic players as well. So, uh, See, as you can see, there's a world of diversity there. Nice big circle. So it definitely is for everybody, so you can go ahead and try it. But uh, I'm just warning you now, there is Moonspeak, and you're just going to have to get used to it. But there isn't really too much to this game outside the Moonspeak. And there is a little bit of a harsh learning curve. But I'll get into that later. But anyway, like I said, I figured I would just show off what I've been doing. And as you guys know, that hey, I'm trying some new stuff. And might show you some other stuff that I've been doing besides actual console games. And see if interest persists from here and you know, whatnot. Uh, I think I still got some time to show off. Uh, what shop newbie Zaku as MS05 Zaku 1. Uh, this is your newbie year. You get two, so you only get to mess up twice. And I 
can't figure out how to turn the camera yet. So uh, once I figure out the controls again, I'll go ahead and do another video, and uh, you guys can see more. But I'll go ahead and call it a video now. So uh, I said uh, later. And if you want the links, I will go ahead and post up the links. So like I said, uh, later.